Gabby! What? I was waiting until 8 o'clock to get up. I was, I was supposed to be like a 10 minute cat nap. It turned into a 14 hour coma. Rapid fire. What are you excited for today? Your what, mother. What did we do yesterday? Your mother. And what do you want to do tomorrow? Your mother. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no, yesterday was yesterday was a good day. It was uh, we put down a bunch of miles. We got into North Carolina, you know, we were really didn't really have an expectation for the day. But that's one thing that's different about this trip is there's not really an expectation or somewhere that we have to get to. So we're just kind of moving at a steady pace and hammering down. Feel the fire running off your kiss Ooh, honey, you move like water Ooh, honey, you're a certified dime Ooh, honey, you're turning me on Never miss a beat, you're right on time That's true, can jive Ooh, man, holler, cut up a road This is your song, pass me the jug Pour me another, we're gonna shake till the morning comes for ants? I have crab, crab gloves. Yeah, we got these from Canada. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's Apparently that's how Canadians' fingers look. They have just <laughs> one huge finger, one small finger, and a thumb. Uh -huh. That's all they need. That's what they eat poutine with. That's all they need, see? secondary roads for a long time. It'd be great on a motorcycle, absolutely amazing on a motorcycle, but we're still at 25 PSI hunting for Hurricane Creek and a lot of the fun stuff that's in the Cherokee National Forest, Teleco Plains, all that fun stuff is, is ahead of us. But this section of the Trans-American Trail has tested our gut and our nerves at about 25 miles an hour, maybe 30 tops on some of the straight stretches for about 30 miles. So brace yourself for this section. Back on gravel, happy about it, going up a mountain. I ate zebra cakes today, it was magical. I had a meat stick today, that was also magical. I also fired rocks at Gabby's windshield going around a corner, uh, that was not so magical. Now we are on the Hurricane Creek Trail. So I think we've picked the right time of the week to come. It's a Monday. And we've got the team kind of set up through here so we can kind of show you what it looks like. A lot of people have driven on the Hurricane Creek Trail. It's obvious it gets a lot of traffic. So we'll check in with you later. I, I love driving, so for me, I have no problem with it. I drive for a living most of the time anyway, so to me this is, you know, second nature. It's all about like the company, the vehicle, and the snacks. Snacks are important. 
So a favorite day would definitely be um, off-roading on um, Hurricane Creek. Being able to see more of uh, the backwoods and back of the United States that you don't experience normally. So it's kind of nice to see like, you know, what America has to offer. And hospitality has been amazing so far. about time, huh? Yeah, it's about time. Thanks. <laughs> Hurricane Creek's been a lot of fun and uh, very few places to pull over, but we've got a pretty good system worked out to actually film a good portion of it and keep momentum on this track in case anybody got behind us. But like I said, it's Monday, no traffic out here. Knock on wood, it's been fantastic. Um, everybody's having a good time. They've earned us over the last day and a half of travel and we just got a bunch more gravel left to go. Having fun? Yeah. yeah. What do you think about this so far? This is pretty awesome. This is exactly what I was expecting for today. Didn't yeah. we do this? Didn't Jamie and Jeremy and I and you do this? We did do this. I think we did, and yeah. we just did it in the Forerunner and the Tacoma. Yeah, right? we yeah we did it. I think it was like season end of season two, beginning of season three. Because you wrecked your drone like three times. Yes, yes, I did. That was it. Yes, and it it, it was toast. Thanks for bringing that back up. <laughs> Appreciate it. It was really nice of you. All right, how far, how much farther do we have? Uh, a couple miles. A couple miles. A couple okay. miles, and then we get out on hardtop. Yeah. Good. Right. We've been waiting for this, huh? Uh, hell yeah. Yeah. I'm done with those windy roads. Yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready to do some four wheel action. Finally got my truck in four wheel drive, and it started squeaking again. Angela's favorite saying is, 
Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, are, are you f***ing kidding me? Well, that's, I was trying to keep it yeah, nice for there the camera. You go. Huh? huh? No, just come right through. Just have a little momentum, come on. Woo. And that's when I called out, I said, I need a consult here. <laughs> and hell, you know, if it was just you and I, we, we would have been back. doing a U-turn and mm -hmm. saying, no, there's no way we're going to attempt this. Mm -hmm. But with the support of the whole team and the confidence was, send it. Yeah, but we learned something. <laughs> we learn something every time we come yeah, out with you guys. Exactly. So, you know, that's what it's all about. Keep moving. Turn a little driver. Keep moving. Sorry, Gabby. Oh, yeah. This is Mile High Campground. We're actually in a Cherokee Indian Reservation um, here in North Carolina. And we are at 5,400 feet. It's a little slice of heaven. And it's reasonably cheap. And they had hot showers and everybody needed a shower after what three days we've been away from home now, so. My thoughts on the first leg of the Trans-American Trail, it's about what I was expecting, to be honest. A mix of dirt and some technical stuff, a mix of pavement and small towns. I mean, there is sadly no one dirt road that connects uh, east coast to west coast across the U.S. and, and so it's a puzzle piece, a, a, um, a smattering of different parts of the country put together in a, in a cross the continental U.S. trail that is just beautiful and you're really getting a good example of kind of what the U.S. has to offer from the, the technical off-road stuff to the small little rural map dots that are often overlooked or flown over. Um, and you're stopping through these and, and checking them out and supporting local businesses and you're, you're seeing old country farmer dude cutting his grass and he looks at you going down the road like, whoa, that's cool. And, and then you're dive bombing through mountain trails and stuff, trying to figure out where you're going and splashing through creeks. And I'm looking forward to what all this has to offer as we keep moving across the country. Uh, I'm really looking forward to that personal journey, to that physical journey, and the truck's gonna change, the crew's gonna change and grow and come closer together. And it's just gonna be a, a beautiful, life-changing life memory that I'm gonna have and be able to tell people about. And it's like, yeah, I drove across country on back roads the whole way. Like, that's awesome. So I'm stoked about that. Today, I know what to expect. I don't know where we're gonna camp. I mean, the worst, the hardest thing we've had to do is find camp. Like, that's how hard our lives are. Outside of uh, Northwest Georgia, I have no idea what to expect from the Trans-American Trail in Southern Tennessee, Mississippi, or even Arkansas if we get that far. I have so, no idea. 